doing barefoot training today. Just joking, that's gross. It's not gross, but public gym it would be. Need some fresh training socks. We got a lot of merch, dude. I've actually had a couple people DM me and comment on the YouTube saying they want merch. We have. Open this box. We got journals back here that actually have prompts in them. So these are sick. This is like the go to simple gratitude journal, task list, affirmations. Great way to start the day. We got box of these, boxes of these in a storage unit in Arizona where my assistant lives too. These are all the mesh shorts, like this. Got the little tailored tag on it. Back pocket, double layer. This is just a random, I've printed so many different things on them. Gotta set something up soon, man. Where'd my socks go? I don't know, but you got plenty more. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I got squirrel brain too. Oh, nothing like some fresh socks. Ooh, crispy whites. Some of our brand new socks feels good, man. These are double cushioned too. All right, we got chest. No, pull day. Back biceps. This is literally probably one of my favorite days of the week because once upon a time, the people I used to train with called me Cody Mick Little Back not Cody McBroom, because I had no back, had no lats, had no traps. I was a man without a back. Sounds like a cat in the hat. But in fact, <laughs> it's just me. We're gonna do a lot of pulls. I'm gonna get some pre-workout in. We're gonna switch up some of the variations today. We're gonna go with some heavy bent rows, do some big, some bigger lifts, heavier weight, just to kind of change things up this week, create a new stimulus. Novelty is important every once in a while. You wanna do the same thing every week, for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks on end so you can actually consistently progress your volume and the amount of tension you're placing on a muscle. But every once in a while, you need that novelty stimulus, which is kind of throwing something random in there, changing things up completely, or doing a little bit of both, sprinkling it in. Now I'm gonna sprinkle it in today on the pull day. So we're gonna hit lats really hard, a little bit of upper back, and we're gonna finish with some cool bicep training. I'm gonna get this pre-workout in and we're gonna get after it. We're gonna start with chest supported pull downs, kind of mimicking like a hammer strength isolateral lat pull down, which I wish I had as a machine here, but I don't. But it allows me to have kind of some rotation so I can get into like more of an underhand grip and then I can rotate at the top to get that big stretch. I can angle it so it's not directly in front of me. It's kind of out to the side. It's not all the way vertical, but it's an angle, which is why this kind of, this isn't a free motion. I don't know what this is, but that's why this free motion like machine is great. We're gonna do higher rep. This is just the first exercise. Get some blood in the lats, get, you, get me feeling good, get some movement in. And then we're gonna move into some barbell bent rows, which I haven't done in a while because I've been doing the Smith machine, but we're gonna break out the, uh, the free weights today and do some heavy bent rows after I get my lats all, all fired up from this. like not right this second, but like both meals. I've had three meals today. Besides breakfast this morning, I was like, I don't feel like eating right now. Like that's how full I am. 470 grams of carbs today, not including the 30 grams in here. So 500 grams of carbs a day, really. It's a lot, gotta get big. I'm trying, I'm trying hard. All right, so we're gonna do bent rows. Really, really easy, simple tip that will save your back 
if, let me turn that music down a little bit since you're right there, hold on. All right, simple, simple tip that will save your back if you're doing RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, stiff leg deadlifts, barbell bent rows, all that. Start from the rack. So a lot of times people start from the floor and sometimes you have to if you don't have a rack available. But instead of me picking off the ground like a deadlift and then going into bent rows or going into RDLs, you gotta realize that an RDL, number one, RDL is a negative and eccentric base lift. The stretch is the most important thing, which means th this part is the important part, not necessarily the standing up. You gotta be able to get it up in order to keep going. But same thing with the bent row. So instead of me starting from the floor and forcing myself to deadlift the weight first, I'm gonna pick it off a rack, go into the good stable position I wanna be in, and then I'm gonna start performing the rows from that position. So just a quick tip, you'll thank me when your back feels way better after doing these. cable row we're gonna change this up a little bit normally I do it on the bench I'm gonna do it on our Sorenex pull down seated row I really I still really want one of these um, Arsenal strength has a multi row machine and I want it so bad chest supported get in there plate loaded but it has rotational grips and I can really do like low rows they're like a lever row is what it's called but it's a horizontal row where I can twist it and go upper back, mid back, uh, lower, like lat. Love it, it's just such a smooth rowing machine. We don't have that here, so I got a kind of jimmy rig stuff, which I can do easiest on the Sorenex by posting up my foot and getting some rotation. And I think that's like, if there was one point I would say about mobility for bodybuilding, it's gonna be like spinal flexion and rotation, so T-spine mobility. Because if you can really rotate your spine or even flex and extend your spine, you're gonna get way more lat engagement and just movement out of your scapula, which I think is underrated. Even by me, because I absolutely hate doing mobility. Why I don't really do it. And I'm gonna do, but it's arm. but it's this one. Yep. But I'm gonna do uh, bilateral, not unilateral this time. I mean, if we just just for lack of getting confused, pull down and then pull over. It's here. It's more of a straight arm pull down. The problem with calling it a straight arm pull down, which a lot of people do, is now people are like, oh, straight arm. Now my triceps are activated because I'm still abducting and uh, hyperextending the shoulder, which the triceps help do. But if you think of like a, a lying dumbbell pullover, old school, laying on a bench, that makes sense. Pull over in a pullover machine, which is a really good. Same movement, instead of being in this range of motion, which is great because it's a huge stretch, I'm in this one. Just a little bit more of the contraction, which actually, if you can get into a lying position while doing a pullover, so like an incline bench, this works great if you have a partner because they can pull this down to you. 
and feed it to you in an, on an incline bench and you can do pullovers that way with a cable. Really, really good exercise because it emphasizes more of the stretch versus a bent pullover like I'm gonna do. It emphasizes more of the shortened range. Um, but again, nonetheless, when you're by yourself and you don't have a pullover machine, you gotta work with what you got. Set stretching, that's what I just did there. After contracting muscle, just stretch it. They actually discovered this to be helpful for muscle growth by first putting little weights, attaching little weights to birds' wings. And when the birds would be down, it would put them into a stretched position with their wings and they saw hypertrophy in the, the muscles of a bird's wing. In research, it was hard to uh, duplicate until they started doing these range of motion studies. So now we know that the stretch phase so important, we don't necessarily need to do these loaded stretches in between as long as we emphasize the stretch portion of the movement. However, if you can, like this is my last lat exercise. So I'm gonna add an intensification to it because it's not gonna negatively impact the rest of my lat training today. So in between these sets, I'm just gonna do a 15 to 30 second stretch on my lats to just emphasize even more of that stretch. Since this movement, I don't get to go into that full stretch position with my arms overhead. I can hang and pull them into a stretch position and just hold that as an isometric in between sets. <sighs> Finally, done with lats. We're gonna move up the back, hit the rear delts, the traps. Upper back is one you can hit with a lot of frequency. So I do a little bit of upper back slash rear delts on my push day as well. It's definitely more rear delt focus, whereas today's a little bit more trap focus but you, you really can't isolate those individually that well. You're gonna hit both of them. If you're doing a trap exercise, you're gonna get some rear delt. If you're doing a rear delt exercise, you can get some traps and that's fine. But the upper back can handle a lot of frequency. And uh, because of that, I, tip, I basically train my upper back four days a week, essentially. So we're doing cable face pull downs. This is a great variation. If you have a pull down machine, um, I actually got this one from uh, John Meadows, Mountain Dog. I got a lot of exercises from him over the years. He does this with a lat pull down as well, calls them stretchers. But this one's great because it does allow you to stretch the traps, which is very difficult to do with trap exercises. It's also why farmer's carries are so good for traps, which a lot of people don't realize. You think shrugs are gonna be the best for traps, but you're, if you're doing a farmer's carry, you're just letting them hang. So it's kind of like, why do people have massive traps when they do a lot of carries or trap bar deadlifts? Well, it's because it's pulling you into a stretch position. You're finally loading that stretch on your traps which is a, was a big aha moment for me once all this research came out on stretching for muscle growth. So on this one, it's gonna stretch my rear delt and trap really well, and then I'm gonna pull down and really get a big pull while pushing off this bench and leaning back into it for the face pull itself. part of the workout curls so we're gonna do a we're gonna do two variations I'm gonna do two sets of barbell curls and then two to three sets of hammer curls we're gonna do the barbell curls because basically what we're trying to do here is a supinated grip and a neutral grip so I want to change the grip variation depending on the curl variation you can do this by doing supinated grip palm up one day of the week hammer strength or hammer grip, neutral grip on another day of the week, or if you're doing multiple curl exercises in a single day, like I am today, supinated grip for one, neutral grip for one, intentionally. Instead of going, I'm gonna do a barbell curl and then I'm gonna do a dumbbell curl and then I'm gonna do a cable curl and you're just always supinated, you're doing the same movement over and over again, change it. So we're gonna go supinated with the barbell, 
neutral grip with the, uh, with the rope on the cable after that. And I'm also gonna change my shoulder position. So on the barbell curl, I'm leaning forward a little bit. My shoulders are in slight flexion. On the hammer curl, I'm gonna be pulling my shoulders back and they're gonna be in more of like a neutral, slightly extended position. So we're changing the shoulder position and we're also changing the grip for these variations. lat exercises, one upper back exercise, two bicep exercises, quite a bit of volume. Pull day number one of the week. I got two per week. Take the exercises, take the sets, take the reps, take everything I did. We'll put some in the description so you guys can actually steal some of this workout. Go try it. Comment below if you have any questions. Let me know how the workout goes. If you want to try video or, or exercises like this and training programs like this, shameless plug, thetailoredtrainer.com. My programs are literally in there. So you can literally do this exact workout if you want to. You can get a seven day free trial. So go check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope you're enjoying the content. Like the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you watching. Catch you next time. <laughs>